There are a lot of ways to make ethers. Um, one of the easiest ways mechanistically is the Williamson ether synthesis. It requires an alkoxide and a primary halogen. Uh, could be chlorine or bromine. I just happen to choose chlorine this time. The alkoxide can be synthesized from an alcohol by adding sodium to abstract the hydrogen that would be connected to this oxygen. An alkoxide has a formal charge of negative one on this oxygen, so it has a negative charge. The chlorine has a partial negative charge, while the carbon to which it's connected to has a partial positive charge. In this mechanism, the ether is created when the lone pair or a lone pair on the oxygen attacks the carbon with the partial positive charge which is going to be the carbon that's connected to the halogen. So what happens is that a bond between the oxygen and the carbon is created while at the same time the bond between the carbon and the chlorine is broken. This results in the ether, which you see here, and a chlorine radical.